Hey, what's up? It's Sugar from Sound Candy Studio. Today, I'm going to take a look at Loop Cloud Drum and Loop Cloud Play. Uh, now, I guess before we take a look at them, we should take a look at Loop Cloud itself. Uh, so this is Loop Cloud interface. Those, the Loop Cloud Drum and Loop Cloud Play, they are both just plugins, and you can find them just under here in your uh, plugins folder. So uh, uh, Drum and Play are there, and that's all you need to do. Just drag them into your DAW, and that's it. So let's take a look at drum. Uh, it's a sample player. Uh, so nothing special there. That's not its party trick. Its party trick is the fact that it's connected to the Loop Cloud Store, run by Loop Masters, a very, very well famous uh, sample library. Uh, and this is what it looks like. So if you go into the store and you are looking for a, you can go, you can search by a label or search by genre, or genre, uh, and you can decide what you want from there. But let's just take a look and we'll go in. We'll, we'll sample a few things. So let's just have a look at that. Let's take a look at this. Yep. Okay. So if you want to purchase anything, all you need to do is click on it. It will turn up here and just click buy pack. Uh, all your packs will turn up here. They will turn up. So these are the ones that I've already bought. And then there's also some starter kits. Uh, so I'm currently loaded this one up. So let's go and have a look at this and see what this sounds like. We'll just jump out of here. Uh, C1, uh, that's your normal one. Uh, obviously use your keyboard or a, um, I don't know, a launch pad or your native instruments, whatever you want to trigger them. Uh, so this is what it sounds like. Uh, at the bottom here, you have a pattern editor, then you have the sequencer, the step sequencer here. Obviously, you have your things like tune and envelope and filters. They're your basic, uh, they are obviously allow you to tweak. Uh, you have a master tuning down here and you can generate and you can clear those uh, samples and those steps yourself. So let's listen to this one here. Obviously, it's controlled by your DA double. We're currently running at a hundred BPM uh, and this one sounds like this. We want to cycle through, just we can cycle through, edit, find out what's on the next kit. And we can cycle through again and let that other kit load up as well. Uh, but the, the, I think that let's just go back to this kit here because I, I actually want to do something here. Yeah, this one here. It's not that one. It's probably, is it that one? Yeah. Uh, the thing I like about this and what's very, very, very interesting to me, uh, maybe I should have also told you about the mixer. Here is the mixer section. Very basic, so you've got your delays, you have your crush, your drive, your filter, your limiter. Down here you have your outputs. Very, very uh, intuitive. That's the right word to use. It's very intuitive. So there's nothing to say about there. I'm trying to get on to the, uh, the bit that says why I think this is special. I think it's special because it has this store, but that's not just generally it. It's this bit here that I really think is fantastic. Okay, so the reason why I'm going to pull you out to here. So on that uh, C1, you have that kick. You have this tiny little lock icon, and the reason why that's important is because if we go over here, we it allows us to literally generate kits and generate uh, generate kits uh, from the stuff that's already on your hard drive, the one shots, the samples are already on your hard drive and already in your Loop Cloud library. Now, why that? Why is that important? This is why. We'll just click randomly on one of these little dots here. Same pattern. Now, why is that important? Why do I think that is fantastic? I think it's fantastic for this reason. First of all, you can go down here and you can, this little icon here, the loop cloud icon, you can go in and you can say, I want to go in and search for something very specific. You can click on this icon here. You can drag and drop samples directly onto the icons here, or you can simply lock it. If you find that this drum is the perfect drum for your kit, the next time we do a random uh, update, uh, that drum will stay, as you can see now. So that drum, that is going to stay. If we unlock it and we do the same thing again, it might actually just take that drum away, which you can see it has. Uh, 
And these are coming from some random places on my hard drive. And the reason why I think that is fantastic, I think it's fantastic because if you're stuck for an idea, this gives you a great starting point to look at what's on your hard drive and let it just randomly come up with some stuff. And you would be amazed at what it's come up with in the past for me. Uh, so that is Loop Cloud Drum. It is a fantastic piece of kit. I really do like it. Uh, just looking at the bottom down here, we have our, we've mentioned this before, but we have the uh, pattern editor down here. We can also drag MIDI out. So if we play, let's just go to here, let it load up that kit. That kit sounds like that. If we wanted to take the MIDI from that, if we just click on the MIDI icon, the little MIDI uh, icon pops up and we can just drag this out and drag it straight into our DAW. It's as simple as that. Uh, let's just go back to the drum for a second here. Or if we wanted to drag out uh, the audio files, we'll do exactly the same thing. We can click on that and drag the audio files out as well. So that is perfect for what we want to do. Let's go and take a look at Play. Now, Play is not a sampler, but it's just a keyboard. Uh, it's a synthesizer that allows you to do exactly the same thing. So we can go in, we can hit the store, and we can say, let's just see what's in this pack here. We can play, or we can play, let's just, actually, was it this one? Let's go to this one. It's these individual components that you'll be buying. So that's that one. Let's just try this one here, see what's in that pack there. And again, the same thing. Uh, once you find a pack with, that you like, you can go in, just click the buy button, and these packs will end up in your library, which is here. And again, this comes with a bunch of starter packs, which is actually very, very useful. As you can see here, I've downloaded this one. I just downloaded this one. They're in the cloud, and if you want them on your hard drive, simply just click on them and let them download individually. Uh, we can see what's in this. Actually, let's go and play one of them. Let's just see what's in it. What is in this one here? Oh, this is lovely. That is that is really nice. Uh, so what I did do is I made a very very quick track just using some of the uh, the play, some stuff from the play and some stuff from the drum. Uh, but pretty much everything in the track that I've played comes from Loop Cloud, and that's what I think is really the it's it's the it's the it's the key thing for me. The fact that we can stay within the ecosystem, we've got Loop Drum and we have Loop Play and now we also have Loop Cloud and then we can drag any of our samples out and drag them into it. We can go into our library, we can drag stuff directly out of our library uh, because it's all tagged, it's tagged by uh, genres, it's tagged by drum fills, it's tagged by uh, key signatures. It's There's a whole bunch of stuff that's tagged there and that's the bit that I love. So that's it. If you have any questions about this, please do hit me up. Uh, please do like, share, subscribe and comment. I will see you again next time. I'll play about the track that I've made. It's all made in the Loop Cloud uh, environment between drum and play and Loop Cloud itself. That's it for me. I'll see you guys again next week. Take care for now. Bye bye.